up? What's up, my fellow creators? Welcome, guys. I hope you're having a beautifully, phenomenally blessed day. Thank you for joining me for another moment in Becky's House of Cards. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel down below, set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And today we are going down the rabbit hole with a collective message. Um, I really didn't know what to do, so I'm just going to see what Source has uh, out for you guys, what you need to know in this time. And we'll just go with it. And uh, I've got a couple other ideas and topics that I'm going to do. But this one in particular, I was just told to just do a general message for you guys. So this is what's coming next, I suppose. <laughs> we'll go with it. I just want to let you guys know it is a true honor being here. I'm going to thank you for your most precious asset, your time. It really means the world to me that you guys spend this time with me. And I want to welcome all of my returning subscribers, all of my new subscribers, all of my returning viewers, and all of my new viewers. I just truly want to let you guys know that it's because of you that you're making my dreams come true and that means so much to me if you guys are interested in supporting the channel check out the description box down below all of that is linked down there i am not currently doing private readings at this time however keep an eye out in the description box because when that changes if that changes that will all be linked down there okay it's not a requirement to support the channel by any means, but if you guys do, I just truly appreciate anything and everything, and just know that you guys spending your time here with your likes, your shares, and your subscribes helps out. Also, the more you interact with the channel, the more likely it is that they'll resonate with you so that I can be connected with your energy, and always keeping in mind that these are general readings. All right, so before we get too much longer into it, let's see what's going on, Source. What messages do you have for the collective? How can we help them out? What's going on with the collective? You obviously have something to say to the collective, so what would you like to pass on, Source? What messages do you have for the collective? How can we help them out? What do you need to tell the collective, Source? How can we help out the collective? What's coming through? What might they need to look out for? What might they need to look forward to? What messages do you have for the collective, Source? How can we help them out? What messages do you have for the collective? Drop, sorry. What messages do you have for the collective source? How can we help them out? Oh, that's my dad's dirty hand on the video there, guys. Working on the motorhome. What messages do you have for the collective? How can we help them out? What messages do you have for the collective? One more. Yep. One more. What messages do you have for the collective source? Alright. Let's go. What's coming out for the collective? How can we help out the collective? Alright. What's first on the block? Oh, the four of coins in the reverse. Okay, so... There's two things coming through with this right away, and that's A, that you feel insecure about your finances at this time, and this is B, somebody you're connected to feels insecure about their finances at this time, feeling that there's no sense of stability, no ability to find stability, fighting, fighting against the current, I heard, yeah, for you, if this is you feeling insecure, you're actually looking into why this insecurity exists or you're actually being shown right now at this time why this insecurity has existed in your life and you're finding a sense of transformation coming from this digging deep. I feel like you're learning to live from your heart space and not based on what people think about you. Yeah, setting boundaries, like saying no to people, saying no more to this no more to this insecurity no more to this this could be a home situation too with this four of coins this could be an insecure home situation that you're looking into like wow this is really not serving me it served me for a time but now i have to open my heart up and trust the source, source energy yeah because there's no growth here yeah there's no growth in this situation there's there's this energy of somebody being deceptive coming through right away. Like, it's with this world card. That's why I stopped for a minute because it was really, when I was moving it over there, like, the energy was really, really kind of crazy. 
Yeah, so somebody is dealing with, there's barriers, maybe there's a sickness here, maybe there's an obstacle that's arisen, but it's like, I don't know what to do. Like, it's almost like you get this energy, like, I know this isn't serving me. Yeah. And I'm afraid to take a risk. So what is the risk that they need to take, Source? Like, let's talk about that. Okay, finding clarity, first of all. Misguided. Okay, so this is a misguided situation. It was like almost like I heard an afterthought. This was an afterthought. What's going on with this source? Like, let's get some more information about this. Okay. Yeah, so there's a stalemate here. It's like things are not changing. Like, no matter what, it's like things just kind of keep staying the same. It's like you either keep coming into this energy of not having sturdy boundaries and not taking the action to create those boundaries, or you're in this energy of trying to control something that's just not worth controlling because this person is not willing to change. There's definitely a lot of love here, though. Not passion. This is not passion. This is love. This is somebody that you care about or that they do care about you. But this is this is not like this person's afraid of you taking a risk or you're afraid of taking a risk. Yeah, instability here. Look at that. This is an unstable family home situation. This is someone trying to keep you connected to them, trying to keep you in a box, trying to keep you from taking flight and source is saying like you got to realize what you want and go for it and don't give up like it's like I feel like you have a plan here of abundance coming to you it's like you've kind of been working on it definitely listening to your angels and your guides you're trying to find your own clarity but when it came to this particular situation it was almost like it had you so I'm not gonna lie but what I heard was it had you by the balls <laughs> like that's oh. what I heard right off the bat so Whatever that was. Um, yeah, it's like all of a sudden you're 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 done. Like you're like, look, this is ridiculous. Like you do not support me. You don't like support is definitely a big thing here. I feel like this is home insecurities coming up here. Um, but overall with this five of swords here in the upright, it's saying that you're letting go of toxic like toxic relationships. You're letting go of negativity. You're not letting somebody else's negativity determine how you feel you are feeling secure in yourself you're ready to embrace that change you're ready to move to the next level you're ready to find balance within yourself you're ready to really truly embrace the unknown and i think that that's scary because i think part of you guys are taking on this person's energy and i feel like there's there's also this this connection that's coming through like this is more than just this life connection this is somebody that's been around in your in your many 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 of your lives and it's just not a good place like it's not a, it's not comfortable to think about letting this go but the time has come that's what i heard the time has come okay so i guess those three one right. this one too all right cool i didn't want that many but we'll we'll go with it we'll see what's coming out here all right, let's see. What do we got? Yeah, we have the seven of wands clarifying the nine of wands in the reverse. So there's a lot of anxiety here and feeling like left out. This is this is like you've had to find any way, which way you could to grow because it feels like this person or this situation is coming at you from all sides. Like they don't want to see you succeed. This person has done everything within their power to get you to stop. It's like they tried to embarrass you. They've tried to make you feel bad about yourself. They've tried to interfere with your your stuff. They've tried to really interfere on uh, a spiritual level. They've tried to interfere on a mental level. They've tried to interfere on an emotional level. They've tried to interfere on a physical level. And I'm getting this energy where you're just like, cool, like keep doing you because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. That's not a reflection on who I am. That's a reflection on who you are. Yeah, they're the ones that keep turning your fortune. This person is... Ooh, I heard psychic attack came through right now. But this person's trying to keep you in a place of stagnation. I don't know why this keeps coming. I guess I'll do another row. We'll see what else comes out. Um, Yeah, family. This is a family member. Ooh, with this eight of cups here. This is a family member. 
unwanted and in, unwanted intrusion or interference by a family member coming out right here this person does not care about you they don't care that you feel any one way shape or form they just want they want you to do what they want you to do and they don't care about what else happens like it's like this person could be manipulative um yeah but look you're you're done like, you're done. You're going to persevere. Like, this Seven of Swords here in the upright, this is perseverance. At no, Like, it just doesn't matter. Like, it's like, cool, keep being you and do what you do. You know, I'm going to go find my own luck because I believe I create my own luck. And I'm going to work hard for what I'm doing. And it's like, you still just keep showing up for you. And that baffles this person because, it's like, I feel like they've done everything in their power to really keep you from doing that. Like, they're this king of coins in the reverse, and I feel like they are, that's what they're trying to pour on you, is, like, being afraid of taking a risk, because they don't know how to do it. They don't even know where to start. Like, they just don't know where to start at, and this person, like, is, they're in their feelings about you being able to take risks. Yeah, that's because this person is only concerned about money. We have a six of coins here in the reverse. This person is greedy. This person wants money. They like, like, it's this weird energy. They want you to succeed so that you'll become rich and famous, but only so that you can support them. Like, that's the energy that's coming through right here. And this person just doesn't get it. Like, they don't, they don't see the, the service that you bring. You're a very serviceable person. You actually shed a light on things for people. I feel like you're a very old soul. I feel like you guys have a beautiful energy about you, and I feel like you have this opportunity to really, truly really overcome what it is that's going on. And it's like, right now, it might not seem like the most ideal circumstances, but it's like, you keep moving towards your own success. And this person, like, this is so weird. You guys might resonate with one of my pick-a-card readings. I'm not going to say which one because I don't want to, I don't want to push people to just watch my things. So just if you guys go on to the pick-a-card readings and you feel like you resonate with one of them and it's the one that I'm thinking of, like, you guys are going to know. Like, there's definitely, just check that out if you, if you feel up to it. But here's the thing. It's like this person, this person has a big problem with you. They deal with a lot of aches and pains, too. This person deals with a lot of body aches and pains. This person deals with, and they, they look at that as though it's because you've somehow brought them misfortune. But look, they're not seeing the reason that they have misfortune. Like, if you look, this is like your energy over here, and this is their energy over here, okay? And it's like, here you are at the center of this reading. Like, I'm done being in an unstable situation emotionally, and I'm going to overcome your negativity. And this person doesn't see that it's their anxieties and their worries that keep turning them in bad fortune. Like, this is what keeps them in a place of misfortune. They don't see themselves in a very high light, but they are emotionally in their ego where it's like, I'm better than everybody, so I deserve everything, but everything keeps falling apart. Yep, it keeps falling apart. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, you're about to come up into a spiritual awakening with this lover's card here. Okay, and so some of you guys, yes, this may be uh, somebody that you're romantically involved with, but that is not the energy I'm getting at all. That is not the energy that I'm getting at all. This is somebody that's been around in your life for a long time. There's a, hey, some days there's just a theme that goes on, right? But yeah, this is so the lover's card here talks about... Becoming spiritually attuned. It talks about spiritual balance. It talks about really truly coming into that place of learning what source wants from you and for you. And with this hermit card up here too, like you've got Gemini and Virgo energy coming in here. And this is this is strong energy. Okay, this is strong spiritual energy here. It's like you kind of have to go through. I feel like this is a story. It's like you maybe had a very unstable home. Somebody came through. They're like, oh, we'll help you out. But you were just trying to learn how to set boundaries. This person was conceited in taking you in. They only did it to appear a certain way. Then they started having these pity parties like, oh, poor me, poor me. I need I need you collective to feel the way that I feel. And you're over here like, no, like, I don't understand why you're feeling that way. You're like, look, we've reached a stalemate here. We can't help each other out anymore like it's just not working so i'm going to overcome your negativity and let you sit in your anxiety and let you keep reaping your bad fortune it doesn't matter like this is it's funny because with this card right here i feel like it's like blood is thicker than water but i feel like that's the thing it's like they've never shown you that they're blood 
Like, you're like, our blood's not thicker than water, our blood is thinner than water, like, get out of here with that. It's like, fucking Kool-Aid, excuse me, but that's, that's what came out, like, it's just interesting, it's just, this is, a, this is an interesting energy I'm getting from you, because it's like, you're like, no, I'm done, I'm done with your negativity, like, I tried to be nice, I tried to be positive, I tried to help you heal, and you just are so resistant to my healing, well, some people are, like, that's just, not everybody is ready to accept your healing, because that's scary, Think about your healing process, you know? <laughs> you always see those pictures where you're like, Source, I don't want to go through shit that make me, but don't kill me, but make me stronger anymore. Please, I'm done, you know? Like, think about that shit. Or think about when you see the woman with, like, the poltergeist and, or, like, what people think spiritual healing really is. And it's, like, her sitting in front of the TV all happy and, and, and then what spiritual healing really is. And it shows her all possessed, like... That's what it is, like, understanding not everybody is willing to put up with that burden. It is a burden, guys. Like, it's not a bad burden, but understanding that it is a burden. And people, they would rather stay miserable in their lives than to change. Because, you know, I, I, I hate to say it this way, but I really just truly through my beliefs, it's like I really believe people like being in a pity party. They like people feeling sorry for them because that's what makes them feel less alone. Yeah, look, it's like, I feel like somebody's coming in to offer you something, or this person could, no, this is somebody new, this is somebody else's, they, they don't have much to give you, okay, this is somebody who doesn't have much to give you, but here's the deal, collective, this person sees your worth, this person over here doesn't, this person is a grown-ass adult, okay, like, I want you guys to understand, yes, this person coming in could be an adult too, but this person is coming in very, like... I don't really know how to approach the collective. I don't really know what to do with the collective. I don't really know what to say to the collective. I don't really know what's going on with the collective. And yet, here they are, and they're like, look, I'm, I'm going to be open and vulnerable and offer you what little bit I got. Because I see you balancing out your energy. I see you balancing out this need that was in your life. This is the completion of a situation for you. This is your hope. This is your, this is your strength. We've got, you're changing your perspective here. Okay, we have, let's see, letting go of toxic patterns, okay, yeah, toxicity is a huge thing here in this reading, like, you guys are letting go, it's like, this could be you even offering your love to somebody, but this, I feel, is somebody coming into you now that you've come into spiritual alignment, it's like, you kind of realize that this person is who they are, and it's kind of like, I don't, I don't get the sense that you're mad, but some of you guys I do with this Eight of Cups, I definitely feel like there's a sense of being angry at this person. Like, why couldn't you just love me the way that you were supposed to love me? And this person just has no idea. Like, I, like being mad at this person is just kind of obsolete because this person is like, in the spiritual sense, dumber than a doornail. Like, it's just, I'm sorry, but that's, that's the thing. It's like, they, they, in a spiritual sense, they don't understand it on a deeper level. Everything to them is very surface oriented how i appear to the outside world how i look to the outside world because everything they do every step they take is based on what the outside world thinks says or believes of them look at that what did i say somebody's coming in and offering you love oh my gosh i can't with you right now source i can't i can't look yeah so you're at a crossroads and both options look favorable like you guys could have two two people coming in but the crossroads is this look Letting go. You got this Queen of Wands in the reverse, this Three of Pentacles, or Three of Coins in the reverse. This is letting go of this connection. Because Source is sending somebody to help you. So Source is sending somebody that's on your level or about to be on your level or that's growing with you. Like Source is sending you somebody that's going to help you out through this. Like Source is sending you somebody that's going to help you live a better life. And it's just interesting. Like it's funny because you guys did not get that many majors out. Like what, four, one, two, three, four, yeah, four majors out here, but they're all about, like, look, looking at yourself through eyes of love, the six of the lovers here, the number six, it's like looking at yourself through eyes of love, we have six, six right next to each other, okay, we've got four, four right next to each other, I feel like four, four, four follows you everywhere, I feel like you guys also see sevens a lot, seven, 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 we have nine, nine, okay, let's see, what else do we got, we have one, one, having faith, Okay, we also have 11, so 11 is about finding your strength and the courage to just do what's necessary. Yeah, so there's definitely a need to let go, and I feel like maybe you guys, 
I keep getting this sense that you're not in a place yet where you know how to let go. Like, you're kind of like, I, I know that I have to let go. But the question is, is how? And I, I think Source is just saying, like, don't worry about the how. Okay? Like, there's somebody that's coming in to offer you love, compassion, a romantic relationship here with this Ace of Cups. This person is really wanting to offer you love. I do want to clarify this Page of Cups and the... And the Ace of Cups source. May please clarify this last three cards. The Lovers, the Page of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. Give me one card to clarify this. What's going on? I just really feel like I need to clarify this for you guys. I don't know. Okay. That wants to come out. Is that two cards? Yeah, again, we have the three of swords on the bottom. Okay. Interesting. We've got the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so here's the deal. All right. You are afraid of this person. Oh, my Lord. Source is telling you this person is okay. Look, these came up again on the bottom, and I shuffled, guys. Look, the Queen of Wands and the Three of Coins in the reverse. This is the disillusion of a partnership that is toxic, okay? Finding your voice with this Queen of Swords on the bottom over here. Finding your voice. But look, Source sending somebody to the rescue, and you're in your headspace about this person thinking all they want is a physical relationship. They don't. They don't. This person doesn't just want a physical relationship. Yes, this person could want one with you. That's fine. That's okay. Whatever. But there's more to it than that. Like, there's more to it than that. And there's <sighs> romantic frustration. I feel like whoever this person is that you're letting go of, again, this is definite family vibes coming through here. So this could be a parent, a sibling, a grandparent, an auntie, an uncle, a cousin, you know, family or friend like family, whatever, guys, whatever it is. But this person is actually what's keeping you from having this Ace of Cups or believing in this Ace of Cups because they're, it's like this connection is what all along has been putting you in a place of not being able to receive love. It's almost like you've had to give love and never receive love. And so it's frustrating for you because it's like, you know, I have this person that I care about in my life and I have this person that's that I'm interested in. Okay, these two wanted to come out. But at the same time, I don't feel like I can receive love because look, look at this. What is on the bottom here? 27, spiritual connection. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Didn't I say that this person at the beginning has been in your life for like, many lifetimes i swear i said that if it wasn't on this one it was on the other one that i'm thinking of but no like i feel like this person has been definitely it's just funny that that came out because i was thinking if i didn't say it i was definitely thinking it and it's like this energy that like everybody thinks oh the spiritual connection card means that they're my twin flame they're my soul no this is like somebody that's meant to be in your life to cause a cataclysmic change for you okay so that's what's going on here this person is making a cataclysmic change in your life and i feel like that is so that you can open up to this ace of cups and heal this wound of being romantically frustrated because of your approach to sex i feel like every time you get offered love your first reliant is to go towards sex okay these two want to come out right and that's not a bad thing okay it's not a bad thing collective it's not what is going on, though, is that you are blocking yourself from receiving real love when you rely on the physical for you. And I feel like that is coming back to the fact that this person only relies on the manifestation of the real. This person is a firm believer. Seeing is believing. Okay? You're not. You're a firm believer of believing is seeing. Yeah, look, this person is only showing up percentage of who they are to you like and what they show you is only face value and that's what they're used to showing the whole world if you were to like dissect this person's mental attitude whoa that just went flying this person you would probably sit there and be like whoa like i had no idea how ugly this person really was right that's the stuff that source pays attention to though that's like that. That's what I'm saying. This is like a common theme today for the readings that I've done. There's like this this energy of this person really trying to irritate you, really trying to make you feel a certain way about yourself, really trying to make you believe that what gifts you have aren't real gifts because this person knows they're real. 
and it triggers them because they're like, well, why was why was the collective born with that? Why does the collective get that? Why don't I have that? Like, I've never experienced that. So is that even a real thing? Are they just really good at guessing? Like, it's like they're trying to make you feel like what it is that you have is not real. And you're over here like, dude, chick, like, it's cool. Like, I, I freaking have had to deal with this my whole life. It's not anything new. It's like you're finding out about it now as I found out about it. But really, let's go back in life. I have dealt with this my whole life, right? Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah, so we have 24, number 6 coming out again. Focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. And I feel like that's exactly what Source is saying. Like, you have to let this person go with love. Like, don't be angry. You have a dragon here on this card. The dragon symbolizes power, magnificence, majesty, magic, okay? Like, letting this person go with love. Letting this person go in harmony. Sending them on, you know, off with a prayer of goodwill. Like, hey, I really hope you find everything that that really helps you come into the, your path of alignment and source, can you just waken them to unconditional love? Because I feel like they are deserving of unconditional love. I feel like everybody is deserving of unconditional love. Can you please open them up to unconditional love? And, you know, and then I always just say in situations like this, they will be done. Because we can't say that this person is going to open up or not. It's not up to us to decide. That is up to source and how their contract was created before they were ever born, right? But the more you hold on to resentment over here, the more frustrated you're going to be because you're going to be turning down this offer, this love offer that's coming in. So we have 41.5, which is change. It says, do something for someone. Give your attention to another. So I feel like this is just saying that when this other person comes in, do not be afraid to give this person your attention. Do not be afraid to just try to build a friendship with them. Uh, you know, like, to build a community with them. That's what I heard was a community. So it was weird that I said friendship, but the, originally wanted to say community. So I feel like there's something deeper to this person coming in. And I feel like you're just very afraid that they're going to be like this energy that has been in your life. And Source is like, look, y'all, I'm sending you a helper to overcome this negative ass energy. This is negative energy. This is somebody who's controlling, manipulative. They use your words against you. And they maybe... They maybe leave you stranded in silence, okay? Like, this person is not nice to you at all, and they act like they're your friend, and they're not. Okay, they act like they're a caring family member, and they're not. Like, they just, like I like, there's this energy that when the doors close, or when they're by themselves, they think all kinds of nasty things about you, and I feel like they're asking God, they're like, God, if there is a God, make this person fail, because they can't do better than me, and God's like, hold up, hold up. The collective is my chosen. And as them as my chosen, you're not going to sit here and pray against them. Okay, and I'm not saying this to make you guys mad. I'm just saying this to, like, say it's like Source is fighting the battle for you here. This person is not. Like, this person has a battle against you. And you're just, I feel, I feel like you can just be happy and clueless over there. And Source is happy with that. Like, just be happy and clueless. Because this is, like, that 10% coming through, they show a nice face, but down beneath the surface, what you're not seeing is all the ugliness that's in their soul, the hurt, the pain that you trigger within them. And it's not your fault. It's that that's the way Source made you. Okay. And that's hard for this person to understand because it's like when you're around, they feel insecure about themselves and they have equated that feeling of insecure is that it is somehow your fault. And it's not. And it's not. And that's and, and at the same time, that's no reason to blame this person. It's every reason for you to figure out how do I take care of myself? Gaia nurturing. How do I take care of myself? And we have Gaia nurturing coming out here. So it's like easy. Self-love. Do what you do. Go do you. Like that's it. Go do you. Do what you do. Connect with your crown chakra. Connect with your throat chakra. Connect with your heart chakra, your third eye. Ground yourself. Get in touch with your sensuality. Get in touch with your feminine side, your masculine side. Take action. Be creative. All these things are helping to attract this loving offer into your life. And I feel like this person is already in your life. Okay. I just want you guys to know they want me to say, I feel like this person is already in your life for most of you guys. If not, this is going to be somebody that pops up that is maybe from the past. Like, Oh wow. Really? Like you're coming in promise new moon. Exactly. You guys have been wishing and hoping and praying on a star and sources like I've heard you, your promise is coming. You want somebody that cares about you for being you and this person is going to do just that and I feel like when this person comes in there's this energy of feeling like it's insincere and they're, they're trying to tell you like 
This is how you view it as the page of cups, but this is what it is. You're ending on the ace of cups. This is like emotional beginnings to something that is grander. This is this is the divine cup, right? This ace of cups looks like a cathedral. Look at it, right? This is like God saying, let me fill up your cup. Let me fill up your cup. You have done so much to try and fill up everybody else's upside down cup. You've given so much love. It's my turn to give to you. Let me give you this. And that's why it's like you're so scared because of this connection that you're having to let go of. You're really afraid that this is just like every other connection that you've been involved in. And Source is saying, like, you need to deal with this insecurity. This is an insecurity coming out on your part, right? You have an option. Both options look favorable. Don't turn them down just because you're afraid. Be willing to take that risk. You are not this person's energy who's so afraid to take a risk. They're so afraid to do something different. They're so afraid to change their lives because life has always been this way. It's always been this way and they don't want to change it. But at the same time, that's the thing. It's like, that's cool, right? Like, that's on them. If they're going to live in that same energy, let them live in that same energy. That's not what you're doing. You're highlighted here with both the Hermit and the Lover's card in saying that you're on the spiritual journey. They're in this world energy in the reversal saying that they like repeating the same patterns over and over again because it's what they know is comfortable. We've got Edward VIII. Look, it says one night can follow you for the rest of your life. Ooh, this is beautiful. Oh, okay, so like that's what they're saying. Like you have to let this go. Like you have to you have to understand it was a choice that you made to stay. It was just what you had to do at the time and be okay with that, right? And then it's so funny that I put this card these cards over this energy here because it says here, a king is nothing without the woman he loves. So again, pointing out that love is coming in, and this is not just ordinary love. This is a gift from the divine. This is a divine blessing. It came in divine timing. This is a promise to you. Look, you have these two lovers here on the bottom of this new moon card. Look at this beautiful scene. Like, just beautiful. Connecting with your crown chakra, your ajna chakra, and your solar plexus, and taking action, living from the heart, allowing the emotional side of yourself to be revealed, right? says, make your own kingdom and choose your own family. What did I say? This is a family situation. And here we have, it's okay to choose and make and create your own kingdom without this person. And it's okay to make your own family without this person too. As much as it might feel uncomfortable to walk away. Look at this. I can't, holy crap, I cannot make this up. We've got Henry VIII and Edward VIII coming out. 8-8, eight, eight. abundance on the board like that, baby. Like that, woo! child oh my god i'm so excited right now this is so cool <laughs> okay sorry guys i had to get excited about that because this is that i've never had that happen before i've never had that i love synchronicities like this like i get synchronicities all the time in my reading but this this is the first okay let me take a breath <sighs> all right <laughs> so henry the eighth he says, act like a gentleman and you'll feel like a king. Look at that. We've got a king is nothing without the woman he loves. So whoever is coming into your life is a boss. Okay. Like it, a woman or a man, it doesn't matter. This person is a boss. Okay. It says a rose has thorns. Cultivate kinder flowers. Well, this connection over here is a rose. It's time for you to start planting daisies, my friend. Daisies are going to be easy. They're going to grow and you're going to love them and they're going to be smelling good and everything and you're not going to have to worry about all these sharp edges, right? It's not that roses aren't beautiful. What what this was was beautiful, but the thing is is that it's teaching you something of value. So you have loving a great deal means sacrificing a great number. What did I say? Like you guys are so afraid that this connection that's coming in is just a sexual connection. And Source is telling you, like, stop, just a second, back up, you know, I'm giving you a gift, and you have to trust my gift, and you have to trust your intuition, I feel like your intuition keeps telling you that this person is okay, but then your emotional ego comes in, and your emotional ego is like, ah, let me turn on that handbrake, because this is kind of freaking me out a little bit, like, there's a lot in this person that reminds me of some past situations, and... The reason they're coming in is they're helping you connect with this injured portion of yourself that's with this family or with this friend or with this situation. They're helping you connect with that injured part and heal that, which has caused a lot of romantic frustration in your life. 
off the bat, I do get energy of a parental figure in here. So that could be a foster home. That could be your parents. That could be, again, grandparents, your auntie, your uncle, whoever was guardianship over you guys. But understanding that that also, too, could be a sibling because how many times have we been in situations where siblings have stepped up to the plate and taken care of us or cousins or something like that. But this is somebody that you have a lot of respect for. This is somebody that you've respected for a long time. But in recent time, you've kind of realized that this person just wants to hold you back. And I think that this is not anything new for you, Collective. I feel like this is just a confirmation reading. Harmony. Number three, your angels are with you. This situation is going to bring you into a harmonious state. Look at these matching colors here. Look at these matching colors right here. Look at this. With this spiritual connection card and this harmony card. Do you see these matching colors here? Look at these dark pinks right there. See? They're almost identical. Okay, and pink is of the heart chakra. Also, pink is connected with the, uh, not the earth star chakra. It's the one that's above the crown chakra. And right now I'm having a brain fart and I can't remember what it is. Anyways, if you guys remember what the, the, the chakra above the crown chakra is, definitely comment that down below. Let me, I just, I'm having a brain fart right now. I'm human too, guys. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. So we have Harmony. This is such a beautiful dragon. Such a beautiful dragon. It says, Harmony is the first dragon who appears to be shy. She was peeking at me from behind a huge curtain. She's a quiet and considered being, but not brash at all. Like some of the others I have encountered, right? Dragons sometimes are really harsh energy to work with. I asked her about her qualities and she replied, I am the bringer of Harmony. Restored, restorative on an inner personal level and an outer global level. If you are wrestling with a problem that you are unable to resolve, ask her to bring her beautiful harmonious influences to a situation and guide you in any steps you may need to take. If she has appeared to you today, she asks, what area of your life needs reviewing? What do you need to do to let go of? Or what do you need to let go of? Is it judgments, old habits? What is it in your life which needs reharmonizing? I will assist you to take those first steps supporting you as you go. Take some time to sit with your life as it is. Look honestly at what may require changing. It may be something quite small, just a little tweak, or it could be a life-changing event. You will know what it will be. She will often appear when there has been discord or upset. This can be personal or global. She is the harboring harbinger of change her role to bring harmony to the world all we need to do is invite her in so there you guys go what did i say at the beginning of this i feel like you know there's needing to be a change but you're not sure of how to get there right with this five of swords here you're definitely going to get out of this negative energy definitely call on harmony here ask her to bring you her beautiful energy reconnect with your heart it's interesting that it wanted to be put over this situation this person's energy which is so negative this person's energy is just very interesting. It's very like unusual or usual. I guess it's been normalized to be in this energy of life is against me and people who are lucky just happen to get born lucky, I guess. And like definitely connecting with your upper chakras, though. I feel like that's important. Okay, I feel like they want a few more here. Okay, is that one more? Oh my goodness, I didn't want to pull this many. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm calling it quit source. I... I just get too long here. I'm sorry. This was an already long reading because I never do this many rows. I never do that many. So I feel like I needed to. I don't know. We'll just go with it, guys. <laughs> so, so anyways, we have eight coming in here. Just again, your abundance. Like there's definitely something about finding your abundance within and then letting this person come in and lavish you with love because that's what they want to do. You are worthy of loving yourself, first and foremost, right out on the board. Yeah, I feel like this person has made you question self-love. Like, I feel like this person's always made you question if you're worthy of love. This person's been around for a long-ass time in your life, and I feel like that's the thing. It's like they like keeping you in this energy of not feeling good about yourselves because they don't feel so alone. Sacral chakra work, yeah. So definitely connecting with your sensuality. I said that over here with the Gaia and the new moon is connected. So the moon is connected with our sacral energy too. The femininity within us, the divine feminine. It's about being able to be sensual in yourself. Dancing is always a good way to activate that chakra too. So it's interesting. Not all who wander are lost. I feel like this person has made you feel a certain way about yourself. I feel like this person has made you feel like you don't matter. And that's what Source is saying. Like, no, like you're... 
you wander the world because that is how you gain wisdom and that is how you teach others to begin to practice this wisdom that I'm giving you and so so I was saying you're not lost you're not weird you're not unusual in fact you're quite normal and you're a beautiful beautiful expression of source energy and so own that look I'm obsessed out of codependency this person is obsessed with you like I think they check on your social media when you're not around or even when you're probably sitting in front of you they're looking on your page and they're like what is what is the collective posting what are they talking about I got to see what's going on with them so I can see if I can use that against them like it's all about using it against you to make them look better about a situation so just understanding don't be angry don't be mad like let this person be in their own damn codependency energy because you're not you're not a codependent person anymore and I feel like that's stressing this person out because they're so used to you relying on their energy and now you're not and now it's making them feel less worthy when really at the end of the day, you're like, no, you got to find your own worthiness because happiness is an inside job, y'all. Stop pointing blame. So I feel like you guys definitely are mad at this person. Okay, like I feel like you guys are definitely angry that this person is the way that they are, which is understandable. But you know what? I would spend some time writing out why you feel the way that you do. Better yet, I do recommend this a lot, okay, going and writing a hate letter to this person. You do not have to give it to them, okay? This is not a requirement to give to this person, but writing a hate letter to this person and then burning it so you can actually put out your feelings and get rid of them and realize that, wow, this person has really weighed on my heart for a long time, right? This is about you really finding that balance within and harmonizing your own energy and understanding to look at this from a higher perspective of love, right? I miss you. Yeah, you're going to leave this person and this person is going to miss you. Like, this is so crazy. Again, you guys might re resonate with one of my pick a card readings. So definitely, if you do, check it out. And if you click on the one that I'm talking about, yeah, you guys are definitely very intuitive individuals. So for those of you that don't pick it, that's fine. Don't think you're not intuitive. It just means that that message was for, for a certain group of people, okay? But... This person misses your energy like they miss that codependency that they shared with you because that's what they're used to. They really think that codependency is love and that stifling another person is somehow showing them love and it's not. It's not at all. Yoga for balance. Yeah, we have balance coming in. Balance. We need to balance. Balance our energy, guys. Yoga, just saying that it doesn't have to necessarily be the act of yoga. This could be breath work. It could be meditation. It could be practicing the bandhas. This could be practicing the uh, eight limbs of yoga, right? Satya, Satya. Um, I talk about those two in my inspirational video uh, link. So definitely, if you guys get some time and you want to, go check those out. Yeah, trigger connection. Oh, guys, I cannot make this stuff up. I can't. This is so crazy. Look at this. Trigger connection. This this person was sent to trigger your your codependency. And this they were also sent to trigger your worth. Like this person is in your life because like you were worthy of loving yourself was the first thing that came out. Like this person was sent to trigger this insecurity within you. And they were sent to really help you grow so that, that you could get love in. And this is this is somebody that's been around for a long time. And that's why they're going to miss you so much. And that's why they're obsessed with you. Because it's like, I just can't. Like, I got to have this person in my life. I got to have them in my life so that I can do better. And it's like, at the same time, when you're in their lives, they don't think that they do better. They just like your energy. They like your energy makes them feel better. You are already love. Exactly. Like that's why you're worthy because you're a being of light and love. Source created you. You're a divine expression of source energy. And to own that is beautiful, right? Pray for what you want. Yeah, so I feel like that's source answering your prayers is that you ask for somebody who loves you unconditionally, that loves you as you are in this now moment, not... Not you in five years, not you when you have money, not you when you don't have money, not you when you when you have a fancy house or fancy ride, not you when you're skinny, not you when you're fit, not you when you're beefed out and muscular. No, you're asking for somebody that just loves you as you are, as Source loves you. And I feel like you're coming into a space of learning how to do that for yourself, and that's what's going to really trigger this this connection down here but they're also saying to make sure that you you deal with why you've been romantically frustrated in the past and why in place of love you have leaned on 
sexual uh, encounters, and that's that's okay to look at. And I feel like this person is going to mirror that back to you too. And that's why it's going to be so scary when this person offers you love because you're just kind of like, well, I feel like they're only in it for the sex. I feel like they only just want, you know, they just want what I got to offer because that's what you've always had. But this person is like, they like you more than that. Like there's, this is deeper love than that. Blinded by the wish that it will work out. This is this other connection. Yeah, you really care about whoever this person is. You really care about whoever this person is. That's what's so, that's what makes it so difficult. That's what makes it so difficult. Especially if this is a family member, like sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's really hard to let go of family. Sometimes it's like we feel like we're losing a part of ourselves and source is saying like no like this person's just not meant to be on the journey with you they're just not like they're this person is taking their own journey this person's going their own way this person's doing their own thing they're not they're they don't see what you're doing they don't see who you are and if they do it only triggers jealousy and anger and obsession and codependency in them and because of that like it's creating it's, it's just creating a lot of disharmony in your life and there's no inner peace right now when you're with this person and that's what Source is asking you to do. Really find your inner peace. Balance out your energy. If you need to do yoga, go do yoga. You know, when, when they asked me to channel that message, it was, it was also a message at the time for myself, but Source wanted it within the ghetto bag, so I put it in there, but it was just that reminder that, you know, yoga can help bring us into a state of balance, but it doesn't have to be yoga. It could be something like gymnastics for you, right? Like, I feel like that's the thing. It's like just learning that it's different for everybody and that's okay. And learning that not every connection that comes into your life is going to last. But again, with this eight of cups here, this is somebody that's in your family. Like, you've got this Four of Coins, this Ace of Swords, and this Eight of Cups all in the reverse here. And it's like, this is what starts each line. It's like, this person has been in your life for a very long time. This person has has really made your life a living hell, in other words, because they're, own, they're living in their own hell, right? And it's like, you're, you're done, you know, with this, these two at the center of the reading here, this four of cups and this, this five of swords, it's like, you're done with imbalance. You're like, I'm going to cut this out of my life. I'm done. And I'm going to open up to love. Even if this person only has a little bit to offer, at least it's better than nothing, you know? And so I feel like you guys are really going to, you're going to stand in that. You're going to stand in that new energy. You're going to be like, okay, you know, this person has shown me that they care about me. Like they accept me. They don't think I'm all top crazy when I talk about the spiritual journey, which is already feels negative and top crazy as it is, even though it's a positive experience, right? But I feel like this person stands firm by you, and that's what Source is saying. Like, they're sending somebody to help you overcome, yeah, this emperor energy, right? This could be a father. This could be a grandfather. This could be an uncle. Like, it's very masculine energy here, yeah, and... They're saying that this was sent to you to help you find confidence in yourself. Like, to deal with somebody who is very, like, not encouraging towards you so that you can learn how to encourage yourself. And that's why they're offering you this love because it's like being able to come up into this energy of being true to yourself and not giving up on that. And that's what's really irritating this person really irritating them guys like they just are really mad that you're doing something that they themselves couldn't figure out how to do and I feel like that's the other thing too is that you've come into a place of finding emotional fulfillment within yourself and and it's in that emotional fulfillment that they're just like how can the collective be happy how can the collective be so uh you know so strong and firm in where it is that they see and believe like and it's like, I guess they feel like you don't, you're not affected by anything and that's not the case. Like you're affected by everything that happens to you. It's just that you've learned how to respond to the situation instead of react. And so they're looking at it as from their own perspective, which is they react to everything that happens to them and you don't. And that they're just like, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Like five swords coming out again on the bottom here. So go, go do yourself, guys. Like, you're doing a great job. This was a great reading. I was super excited. Even though it was a heavy reading, it ended very, very happy, very good. And if it's not 
romantic love coming in, this is going to be you being just totally bathed in Source's love and light, like more so than you've ever been before. It's not that it hasn't been there, it's just you are becoming more open and receptive to it, okay? So this is what I have for you, Collective. I love you guys. Thank you for spending this time with me. This reading went way longer than I was expecting, but that is okay. It's very in-depth, very thorough, and so Source wanted it that way. We're just going to go with what Source says. I love you guys. As always, go forth boldly, my fellow creators, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love until we meet each other again. Mwah. Peace out. I love y'all. Bye.